The Mormons were never a very liked group of people, most of this being stemmed from what they believe in, as well as the wacky origins of their religion. They embrace the beliefs of Christianity, but they also include revelations from their founder, John Smith. The Mormons consider themselves to be a part of the Christian church, but are in no way an actual branch of it. They have three different holy books, the Bible, the Book of Mormon, and the Pearl of Great Price. They believe that Adam and Eve, after being kicked out of the Garden of Eden, had chosen to move to Missouri. They are even more straight-edged than Amish people, and they believe that there are three different levels of heaven. And in order from least to greatest, those are Telestial, Terrestrial, and Celestial. They believe that the Holy Trinity are actually different gods, as well as wearing ceremonial Jesus underwear which they refer to as temple garments. All of this sounds somewhat normal, that is until you look at how the religion was founded, which is when things start to get a little strange. At the age of 14, the founder, John Smith, was visited by Jesus Christ himself, telling him to not join a Christian church, that they were all corrupt, and then disappearing directly afterwards. He did exactly what Jesus said, and three years later, he was visited by an angel named Moroni, who appeared to him and told him to translate the Book of Mormon, who was written by his father, Mormon. He did translate the book, and he did publish it, in 1830, and this is exactly when the Mormon religion began. In a mostly Christian society, people practicing a different religion didn't exactly go very well. They were the target of much harassment and persecution for their beliefs, leading to John Stone and his brother being jailed for treason in 1844, and in June of that year, he and his brothers were killed by an anti-Mormon mob in Illinois. After this, the leadership of the Mormons was passed to Brigham Young, whose idea it was for the Mormon migration to what is now Salt Lake City, Utah. Their migration wasn't instant and they ended up waiting in Omaha, no not that one, but the one in Nebraska, and stayed there in the winter to wait for better conditions for their three month trip. After finally starting their journey in 1847, most of the trail coincided with the Oregon Trail. Most of the time they traveled along the outskirts of the trail to avoid contact with other people. Because they were traveling the Oregon Trail, they had many of the same issues that other people traveling had, such as diseases. However, traveling along the edges of the trail did not stop them from being attacked by other people that disliked them. They had been attacked many times by white men dressed up as Native Americans, using it as a cover to attack the Mormons. After they had passed the Continental Divide, they went southward, and then this is the road that they took to make it to Salt Lake City, Utah. At the time they had arrived, they were technically considered illegal immigrants, that being Mexico still on the land and it had not yet been transferred into U.S. hands. After the United States had gained the land that Utah was on, they decided to make it a United States territory, and because of Young's hands in the settlement of the place, they decided to make him the first governor of Utah. However, because of his religion and its strange traditions, in 1857, Young was replaced as governor, but he still ended up leading the church until he died in 1877. Besides being an exodus for the Mormons, an extremely oppressed group of people, the Mormons played a part in the western expansion of the United States, having caused the founding of Utah. Today, the Mormons still do exist, with over 16.5 million members in the world today. They are the fastest growing religion, and by 2085, they are expected to have over 268 million members worldwide.